Hey everyone, I'm up here in the mountains of southern Idaho and I wanted to do a video about my camp kitchen setup. This is the setup I use my long trips, my month-long trips uh, to do all my cooking and everything. First, just let me show you the food storage. I have a cooler here and then two bins of food strapped to the top. You can see that orange strap there holds them down. And then this is where I sleep. So. Those are just uh, right next to me, easy to access. I have two different camp tables that I can prepare food on and use the stove on. The first one I made, it hangs from the door. It's solid. I really like this because it's at standing height so I don't, don't have to be hunched over a stove for an extended period of time. Hooks on to the top of the door. And it's suspended with cords. A piece of foam pipe insulation protects the, the car's paint from the board. This is a plastic cutting board. I think I'm going to switch to a wooden cutting board. This plastic one, uh, it dips a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a dip. It, uh, it's especially bad under, under heavy loads, so I think a wooden one would be better. And then this is a little aluminum camp table that I picked up on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description. This is the package that it comes in. It's pretty small. And then here it is when it's all set up. It's, it's a really small table. It's only maybe a foot high. But that's okay because my chair that I use is also pretty low. And so I can be sitting in the chair and then be cutting up vegetables or tending the stove right there. And then this top bin here is what holds the majority of my kitchen supplies. Let me pull it out and show you what's inside. This little aluminum side table is also great for putting my big kitchen bin on top of so that ants can't crawl up into it or anything. So let me just, uh, I guess, go through these items one by one. We'll start over here. This is a little roll roll up that I made to hold my disposable utensils. So I have forks, spoons, and knives. Keeps them out of the way, keeps them organized. I really like this thing. Next we've got one pink plastic plate. Not much else to say about it. Collapsible bowl. Hard to do one-handed. There you go, collapsible bowl. So this is my main pot here. I think it's about $20 at Walmart. It's a big old, I think, five quart or five and a half quart pan. It's deep enough to use as a pot, but wide enough to use as a pan. I use a bungee cord to keep the lid on. There's the lid. Inside I have my little colander, my little strainer that I use for pasta. Here's the pan or pot, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's a pan. Salt and pepper and curry powder and chili powder. This has a couple little packets of tea, of herbal tea, and then some crushed red pepper packets. This is a funnel. I don't remember why I bought this, but uh, I think it maybe was for filling up water bottles, water jugs. I don't use it very often, but it doesn't take up much space, so nothing wrong with having it. My ridiculous, but actually pretty darn useful pan made for a single egg. I also use it to toast English muffins. This is a heat pad, so I can put... Uh, I can grab a hot pot or put a hot pot on top of it. This is a folding windscreen for the stove. This is a great little bag. I made this to hold uh, the majority of my utensils. Let me open it up and show you what I've gotten here. All right, a big knife, a little knife. Both of these are serrated. Another serrated knife, smallish.
knife, fork, and spoon. I never really use these. I don't know why I have them. I probably won't take them on my next trip, but I brought them on this one. Here's a spoon with a long handle. This is good for if I ever get those MREs that I, uh, you know, the meals ready to eat that are dehydrated and you put the hot water in, into the bag. Uh, this has a nice long handle so I can reach in there. A spatula. This is just a cheapo spatula from Walmart. I think it was 88 cents. I want to get a smaller one because um, this one, because the head is so broad, it's hard to get eggs out of that little one egg pan. Um, I, need a, I need a little narrower spatula that I can use for that little pan. Vegetable peeler, scraper for getting stuff out of the pots and pans, and a little can opener. These are instructions for the stove, which should be inside the, the carrying case for the stove. I don't know why they're not. This is a cutting mat. I use this on top of either the aluminum table here or the car side table. Just a very thin sheet of plastic. It doesn't have any texture on it, so it's easy to clean. This is a little pot that I got from Walmart. It's great for heating up water for tea or hot chocolate or heating up a can of soup or stew. It's got a little lid. Put this aside for now. Inside are two little insulated cups again great for your hot beverage of choice it's got a handle that comes down this thing is a great little backpacking stove it fits on top of those kind of round and squat isobutane canisters let me put the camera down and uh, make it look like a stove there we go it just screws on top of one of those little canisters and uh, again, this is a great stove if all I'm doing is heating up water or soup. But uh, because it's so tall, because it sits on top of a fuel canister about like this, uh, it's not the most stable thing in the world. And the top here, um, it doesn't have the, the widest diameter to hold a large pan. And so it's not great for, for real cooking, for hardcore cooking. But this stove in the black container here is, so let me show you that. So this is my main stove that I use when I'm cooking seriously. This is a great little stove. It's actually a dual fuel stove, so that means that it can use butane and propane. To use butane, you open up this little hatch and stick the canister in here. To use the propane, you take this included hose, screw one end in here to this little brass threaded thing right there, and then screw the other end, this end, into a propane canister. Great stove, works really well, comes with the, the carrying case, has a nice adjustable flame, and I think it was like $30 on Amazon. $35 maybe, really great deal. This is the first extended trip that I've used this stove on and I really like it. So that's everything. I hope that was interesting and informative. Let me know if you have any questions about the specific things that I have or maybe if you have questions about things that I don't have. I will say that I'm not the best cook. I don't like cooking, I don't enjoy cooking. I just do it out of necessity. So I don't have a lot of nicer objects maybe. But what I do have works really well for me and it was all relatively inexpensive. Hope you enjoyed the video again and thanks for watching.